he didn't have an R&D group. It was a smaller, more nimble thing, but there were specific projects that a extra amount of invention. And so he did have to collect people. And I, I think of audio animatronics as one of those big ones, but also the illusions and things like in the, in the Haunted Mansion. These were really pushing the edge of technology. When you think about what R&D is today, it really is an extenuation of the original Imagineers who Walt tasked with innovative ride systems, with audio animatronic figures, things that could allow the guests to step into incredible worlds in ways that couldn't be done if you just had to have actors and other things like this. And when I joined in 1993, R&D was a top secret facility, actually. We didn't want anybody to know that we had this innovation going on because it was really the technology behind the magic. Over time, though, we've loosened that up and actually do shows like this where we expose it because it's become more and more important for the company to be seen as the innovative and technology-driven company that it is. The diversity of the work that we get to put some of these talents people against. It's kind of fun doing the impossible mm -hmm. and that's what the challenge is every day.